Hello, this is Ajit and once again welcome to another green skin tutorial. In this video we will find out the perfect chroma king using black magic design fusion studio 9. So I have uh, one photograph and I downloaded it from the random website. I don't know from which website I have downloaded it. But definitely if you will search on Google you will get this photograph if you want it. So uh, now I have to import this photograph inside the fusion and i am hoping that you have uh you know some something about fusion because uh, from beginning i cannot teach everything if you don't know anything or if you are a beginner then i will recommend you first watch my previous video that i have already uploaded on my youtube channel okay first drag and drop this photograph inside the fusion and um press one to watch and one faster screen and hit on fit so it is looking like something like this okay and now i have to uh, import a node it's called clean plate okay i want uh use two screens because as uh, the first screen i want to use uh i want to check the previous data and the second screen i want to use to check the final data so this is for final skin this is for uh the, the original screen okay after the clean plate inside there you have to go to ranges color you also uh, got two options okay color and ranges in col inside color you can pick the color something like this but here i'm not going to tell you this matter because in rare cases or sometimes your, your green skin is not very perfect in this situation uh, the color uh, picking a color cannot uh, maybe cannot work nicely or perfectly so in that that, that that kind of situation you need to work on ranges so select the ranges and you can fill the different different ranges from different different colors and shadows inside the green skin or the background okay so you can fill the different uh, values from the background something like that that I'm going to do and from here overall you need to make a shape like dog because we have dog here okay and after that we have to increase the erode a little bit if we have left somewhere some mistake then it can fill that mistake and uh, fill this this kind of this small kind of points here so that that's great and increase a little bit more erode and uh, and the last you have to grow the ages so we need to fill this area we need to fill this area why because we want to make a clean plate we want to make a plate clean we want to remove that dog we want pure green background here this is a reason reason first I, I select the ranges from the background and then second I have grow the edges and now you can also hit to fill this thing so it will uh, after all when it will left somewhere the places like black or white then it will flag uh, it will fill with green color okay and now second thing I'm going to use um, You can also increase the erode okay and the third thing i'm going to use a blur why because as you can see here uh this this part the, the part of this area the second skin as you can see here see here some disturbances here so we want to remove or we want to make it flat like looking like this background so we have to make a clean plate a perfect clean plate then uh, we can get a perfect result okay so that's why we have used the blur here so this blur will make this ages or this surf ages in blurry so when i will increase the, this value as you can see the uh, our, our clean plate is now just clean okay perfect clean using blur and the fourth node is we have to use um, delta here delta here okay but remember delta here is an advanced key uh, and a lot of uh, Hollywood um, BFX artists use this clean plate and delta here and these are the advanced tool is available in fusion studio so you have to remember uh, this blur we have to 
connect as a clean plate and from starting the original image okay remember the original image we have to connect as a input okay and uh, when we will uh, look uh, this uh, delta here image then boom the green skin has been removed but it's not perfect until now okay when you will make one screen and when you will check this and when you'll go to zoom a little bit then you can see a dog is not perfect okay so we have to make it perfect how we have to work now inside the delta here so you inside that get delta here you got several options for example key pre mat mat fringe tuning mask and some other settings as well but first of all uh, view mode so we have to change the view mode we have to take as a status first okay so here we can check the status what should be our status uh, the, the the removal things should be pure black and the the, the, the things inside uh, we want inside the video should be pure white so we want this dog so we want if we want this dog we need to make this dog pure white and we, if you want to remove this background then it we, we should make this background in pure black go to mat and uh, play with this uh, threshold values okay so as you can see here now it uh, change in pure black and we will when we will increase um, the high value in the threshold as you can see here the dog is change in pure white okay and similar now we will change to the mat and here we can check the status or, or of our image here our image is pure white and the background is pure black that means uh, we have removed the background completely and nicely okay but even so uh, when we were doing this threshold working and uh, some somehow this image lost some details for example the hair details or the ages of the dog how we will restore it uh, using restore fringe of course and we can uh, adjust also uh, erode and dilates but uh, we have to always increase blur okay uh, you can also play around these values I'm not going to uh, play with these values because I think my image is perfect here but it is always will be a depend on your image or the background or the green skin how it is perfect okay you should always use the uh, good camera or the good lighting for the green skin then you can get a good result always remember that okay and now view mode we have to change into the final result and boom here we can check uh, using uh, some zoom and the ages of the dog is is very nice okay it's almost uh, it is almost perfect okay and uh, yes um, go to French here and here is uh, is still matter you know uh, if there is a mage and uh, if, if you are capturing with, with the camera the lighting is there so somehow the green skin reflected on the object that is called a spill so we want to remove the spill using a spill method in fusion studio so here is uh, by default is selected none we have to uh, click on rare medium well done or one sometimes okay but as you can see here when we do want the color of the dog has been changed so we don't want to uh, click on one well done is fine for us and uh, go to the tune little bit and here uh, we can also adjust the colors Okay, I think until here it is not uh, like rocket science and it is not some kind of confusing things and until here everything was so easy and so great now if you want according to your your according to you uh, you can um, uh, change the colors okay uh, for example I want no 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 this shadow shadow I want uh, somehow like this and um, mid tones and highlight okay a master color I want to increase uh, the saturations and uh, the contrast 
and the gain value of course okay and mid tones i think it is too much so just do a little bit and again gain the mid tones because it makes your dog white or good in color and uh, yeah that's fine and now you can add glow or the soft glow soft glow okay and increase the threshold here in glow and also increase the size of the glow okay now what this glow will do glow will apply on whole image and the glow will remove the sharp sharp sharpness of the edges and glow will make your image more realistic okay so don't forget using glow or soft glow in after using green skin this is only the perfect trick that all um, almost all the bfx artists do it did it uh, even though you can increase the highest value of this uh, of the threshold so it will not looking like uh, the glowing kind of thing but as you can see the shadow is uh, is creating behind them behind this object that means this image now is very very realistic okay if you want to change some background then it's made this image will look like very realistic so, uh, believe me guys nobody can recognize after using the glow or the soft glow okay so glow is the here new technique or maybe some people uh, use it i don't know but glow don't forget using glow after uh, uh, after uh, removing green skin okay so after glowing you can also after soft glow you can use also hard glow like in some software it is available like glow so here was the tutorial about perfect chroma king maybe you have to work in some of the rare footage because some of some footage are very very dirty captured in it because the green skin is not perfect and the lighting system is not perfect so uh, some of the photo you need to do a lot of work a lot of work okay so uh, using delta here or change some settings you can do it from here and always remember go to the settings and always use uh, at the final result I, I want to say okay not here uh, in final result uh, when you got um, a motion blur here MB motion blur always uh, always use motion blur and when your video is uh, is moving around then it will create some motion and this will create a realistic effect in your video okay and also if your video is suited on the tri tripod or the monopod then you have to use camera shaking okay don't forget use camera shaking um, after using the chroma king okay so that's it guys i hope you like this video and thank you for watching this video